As provocative as he is controversial, Ron Jeremy is one of the most prolific figures of the adult entertainment industry. With a career that spans more than 68 roles, it seems like there's a Ron Jeremy cameo in at least one movie once in a year. While Jeremy is one of the world's most recognizable faces in adult films, not every one of his movies is as raunchy as you might expect. The actor is so easily recognizable that he's got a multitude of blink and you'll miss it cameos in movies like Ghostbusters and The Godfather 3. Today, we'll be looking at the top 10 unknown Ron Jeremy movies. Number 10, Blood Moon Rising. Tacky but fun, Blood Moon Rising is an amusing throwback to the grindhouse action films of the 60s and 70s. This is certainly no Citizen Kane, but if you're a fan of low-budget gore fests, then you'll definitely fall under Blood Moon Rising's spell. The flick relates the story of Lucy Sadie and Daryl Lee, a hippie chick and a nerd. The duo has to join forces to combat an ancient curse that brings forth legions of vampires, zombies, and other ghouls upon them. One more gift. Your blood spilling on the Earth's dust. Ron Jeremy gets top billing in Blood Moon Rising as Phil. In fact, the movie's poster proudly announces that Ron Jeremy appears in the movie. In true Grindhouse fashion, the film uses literal buckets of blood. Nearly 15 gallons of fake blood were used for the flick's special effects. You guys look good. God damn it, you clawed. This shirt cost me a hundred bucks. Number nine, Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. This hybrid of comedy and slasher film sees Ron Jeremy playing one of the weirdest roles of his career, Jesus Christ. Heaven is for everyone. <laughs> Except you. Just like Blood Moon Rising, Bloody Bloody Bible Camp is a low-budget horror film, this time focused on a group of Christian teens that visit a deadly Bible camp. The plot states that a group of teenagers were killed at the Happy Day Bible Camp at the hands of Sister Mary Chopper in 1977. Seven years later, Father Richard Cummings takes another group of teenagers to the camp, ignoring the warnings about its gruesome history. After a near-death experience, Father Cummings meets Jesus Christ, who alerts him of the dangers that the teenagers are in. Bloody Bloody Bible Camp captures the essence of the slasher films of the late 70s, and the inclusion of Ron Jeremy as Jesus is more than enough to ensure this flick's status as a cult film. To the earth and the sea, for the devil has come to live among thee. Number 8, Citizen Toxie, The Toxic Avenger 4. If you're a fan of B-movies, then you've most likely heard of The Toxic Avenger. Created in 1984 and released by Troma Entertainment, The Toxic Avenger has become the face of B-movies everywhere with its campy movies and over-the-top violence. The fourth film in the series presents itself as the official sequel to the 1984 original. At least, that's what Stan Lee himself claims in the movie's opening narration. When a dimensional rift spreads across Tromaville, Toxie, The Toxic Avenger, is affected by it and his doppelganger from another dimension appears. Known as the Noxious Offender, Toxie's double spreads chaos all over Tromaville and even impregnates Toxie's wife. Oh my gosh! We did it! I I'm gonna be a daddy! A daddy? Yeah, I made a baby. baby! Trapped in an alternate dimension, Toxie must find a way to return to his world to stop Noxie and save his beloved wife. Ron Jeremy plays Goldberg, the mayor of Tromaville, who upon seeing the mayhem that Noxie's causing, calls together a team of superheroes to stop him. The movie features several cameos by some famous adult entertainment personalities, including Hugh Hefner, whose cameo sadly got cut due to a cease and desist order from his lawyers. Hey, Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD, my best friend, how you feeling? Not too bad. Number 7, Poultrygeist, Night of the Chicken Dead. Another trauma entertainment masterpiece, Poultrygeist, Night of the Chicken Dead, is a black comedy musical that spoofs many of the classic horror movie tropes. The outlandish plot of Poultrygeist involves fast food, Native American burial grounds, and zombie chickens. A new chicken restaurant is built on top of a sacred Native American fast food joint, causing some of the poultry to come back from the grave for revenge. The movie never takes itself too seriously, which is something that might have been impossible to do with a zombie chicken flick. Jeremy plays the role of Crazy Ron, a local nutcase who tries to warn the fast food restaurant employees of their impending doom. Number 6, Terror Firmer. Yet another trauma flick, Terror Firmer is a self-aware horror film about the hardships of working on a trauma movie set, especially one that's besieged by a serial killer. Terror Firmer is a tribute to everything trauma films are about, and many of the characters and events in the movie pay tribute to some real-life moments and people associated with trauma. The movie follows a low-budget film crew trying to make a movie. Production is in danger of coming to a halt as a homicidal maniac is on the prowl. 
The ragtag crew will have to stop the killer if they wish to stay alive and also complete their film. Ron Jeremy plays the father of one of the main characters of the film, Casey Kaufman. This character, as well as Jeremy's, are references to Lloyd Kaufman, co-founder of Troma Entertainment and the creator of The Toxic Avenger. Number 5. Bite School There's no easy way around it. Bite School is as sleazy as it gets for a horror comedy. That said, this racy comedy uses its lowbrow humor to its advantage, offering fans of low-budget sleazy films a true diamond in the rough. A throwback to the raunchy teen comedies of the 80s, Bite School relates the story of Tony, a millionaire who enjoys partying like there's no tomorrow. When his grandfather cuts him out of his fortune, Tony has to enroll in night classes to get his life back together. In school, Tony falls in love with a girl who also happens to be a vampire. Now, the womanizer must face against the hordes of vampires who wish to separate him from the girl of his dreams. Directed by and starring James Balsamo, the director is known for his underground horror comedies that feature a healthy dose of cameos. Ron Jeremy plays a cleverly named character of Ron in Bite School, one of the movie's many cameo appearances. Number 4. Killing Zoe Executively produced by Quentin Tarantino, Killing Zoe is a violent French crime movie about a veteran safecracker and his relationship with a prostitute. From then on, the movie relates the events of an ill-fated bank robbery, after which the lives of Zed and Zoe will forever be changed. If you do it, it will make you feel as though the rest of the world is in a bubble of glass. Jeremy plays the role of a bank concierge working in one of the only banks that's working before Bastille Day. The film was not so well received, thanks in part for its over-the-top violence. Stuntmen were instructed to perform as sloppily as possible. This was meant to give a gritty and realistic tone to the violence in the film. We all die. The most important thing is that in life we experience everything then. You know what I'm saying, you know? Number 3. Spun A gritty dramedy about life in their meth underworld, Spun doesn't hold back any punches when it has to portray the shady dealings of its characters. The movie's chaotic energy might be a bit too overbearing for many, but under all of that grime and violence lies a pleasantly aesthetic drug flick. If you lie, you lose. Yeah, if you lie, pal, it's game over, you know? I don't know those people. The story follows a drug dealer that introduces one of his favorite customers to the man in charge of his meth lab. What comes next is a series of misadventures through three crazy days of violence and danger. Spun features many cameos, including Judas Priest vocalist Rob Halford, Josh Peck of Drake and Josh fame, and, of course, Ron Jeremy as a bartender. You're Spun, aren't you? No, I'm working hard yeah, on my I new job. I can't deal with this, all no, right? No, I can't. What? I can't deal with this. Number 2. The Boondock Saints This 1999 action thriller starring Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flannery is about twins that are forced into a life of vigilantism after they kill two Russian mobsters in self-defense. You people! have been chosen to reveal our existence to the world. The Boondock Saints received some lukewarm reviews upon release, but it's since become a bona fide cult classic of the action genre. The McManus twins set out to destroy the Yacoveta crime family, led by Papa Joe Yacoveta. His right-hand man, Vincenzo Lapazzi, is played by Ron Jeremy. The movie is well known for its strong graphic violence and its ruthless use of profanity. The F-bomb is dropped about 246 times throughout the movie. They exited out the front door. They had no idea what they were in for. Our number one pick is Start Options Exit. Coarse and unapologetic, Start Options Exit is an Australian dramedy that crosses every possible line. The movie is about two lifelong friends who can't seem to find what to do with their lives. The guys realize that they can get everything they want from life as long as they forget about any sort of accountability for their actions. Ages. I yeah, I didn't like her. Well, what do you mean like? What does you liking her have to do with anything? I don't need you to like her. She was my girlfriend. Start Options Exit pays tribute to the classic beat-em-up video games of the 80s with its title and unique opening sequence. It seems fitting, as the two main characters seem to think that life can just be like a video game, only that, as they will soon discover, you get no continues in real life. Ron Jeremy makes a cameo as one of the flick's many throwaway characters, a doctor named Dr. Kuykenberg. The jokes related to his character may be a bit crude, but there's something that Jeremy is used to, especially considering his adult entertainment career. Start Options Exit holds a user score of 8 out of 10 on IMDb.com, and it was the winner of the 2014 Melbourne Underground Film Festival. You warn us of the dangers of living our lives in isolation. You accuse us. 
Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.